Hey, how's it going everyone? Greg here with RC Driver and right now it's early March 2018 and that means winter's kind of winding down and this just arrived, a snowplow blade from RC four-wheel drive. Um, and actually later on this week at the time I'm filming this, uh, there's, they're saying that we're going to get hit with a blizzard and I think it's probably the only time where I'm actually wishing for snow since the days I was a snowboarder. Um, so the reason why, of course, I want snow, i got to test out this plow and I just want to show you guys this plow. This is their V plow. It's a pretty neat setup. I'm going to put it on my, my Chevy Blazer over there, my TF2 Chevy Blazer, and I, I think it'll look pretty cool on the front of it. But basically, just want to go over this neat setup that you could add to your vehicle. You don't have to have just an RC four-wheel drive truck. So let me go over the accessories first and I'll save the best for last. So basically what I have right here, this is a front mounting plate. Now typically your bumper would go on here. Uh, this is a aluminum plate and what's on the truck is a composite plastic plate. And basically you're gonna wanna switch over to aluminum plate because there's gonna be a lot of pressure on this plow if you're pushing some snow. So definitely uh, look for that if you are adding this to your RC four wheel drive truck or any other truck. Try to find an aluminum front cross brace so you have that extra rigidity there. Uh, then what I have in this tiny little package right here is uh, the mounting post. So uh, this mounting post set goes on the front of the, the mounting bracket here, and then it secures into this mounting bracket over here. So there's a little bit of uh, assembly work involved. You're going to need a couple extra pieces. Um, and then what you have the option to do here is add a winch, and the winch allows you to go and raise and lower the plow. So I have the 8274 winch here. This is supposedly a really high torque winch and it should have the power necessary to raise and lower this as I'm driving around plowing. All right, now we can look at the heavy duty snow plow from RC four wheel drive. And as I said, this is the uh, the V plow and it comes in red or yellow and it's really well packaged for uh, an accessory here. So it comes wrapped up like that. Let me just pull out what's inside here. Got some instructions and some decals. And so, uh, of course, got a lot of decals actually. I don't know, those are some massive decals. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use those, but pretty neat. You could probably go, I guess, and put it on the front of the plow. I think some trucks do that. And then you have the, uh, the installation instructions here just to help you out get the thing together. All right, now let's pull the V plow out and there's a lot, there's stuff in here. There we go. They give you another bag of silica gel. Look at the size of that. All right, so here's the plow. I'm gonna leave that right there. I'm gonna go check out this accessory bag really quick. So it looks like we have a mounting plate inside for the uh, the winch. And I think the winch already has one on there. So maybe in case you need an extra one or something like that. And we've got uh, the, the marker posts. I believe they're marker posts. They go over here. So you know your plow points there. And then we've got some hardware. So just a couple of screws. And I believe these are to mount the servos. So you're also going to need some servos. But this is a really nice setup here. Okay, so obviously you can see it's the V plow. And let's start off with the back of this, actually. this So this is the big mounting bracket. And this is what gets bolted to uh, the front of your truck. You'll use those posts. You'll, you'll screw it in. Um, but this is all aluminum construction here, as you would expect from RC four-wheel drive. Uh, so really sturdy setup. Then we have these shock absorbers here just to put a bit of pressure on the front of the plow blade. And then over here in this big square bracket uh, area, that's where you go and mount your two servos. And as you can see, they're already fitted. Uh, the plow's already fitted with links and servo arms here, so you could bolt it to the servos. And again, it requires two servos because it allows you to manipulate the blade. It gives uh, the torque necessary in order to push the blade around. Uh, as you're moving. So you're gonna have to supply that. And these are 25 tooth servo arms here. Uh, so just be aware of that. I found that out the hard way. I actually have two low profile spectrum servos I thought would work really well right here, but because of the spline count, it's not gonna work. Uh, so I went out and grabbed some 25 spline servos and that's what I'm gonna use to control it. But as you can see, it's hinged right in the center there. It allows you to uh, adjust the plow as you, as you want to. Uh, straight, you know, tilt it. Or you can set it up to pull back in, in the V formation. Uh, but again, uh, you know, we've got an aluminum hinge here and uh, we've uh, got a steel pin in the center of it. And then we've got these uh, steel plates in the front, of course. The two, the two upper blades here are plastic, uh, seem to be a really thick construction plastic. Uh, so I think it's going to hold up pretty well. Uh, but I'm not going to really bore you with details of installing this because it's just a few screws, really. I'm just going to bolt on those two adapters. I'm going to put the, the mounting plate on the front of my truck. Um, drop the servos in and I'm really going to just stick with a basic installation here I'm just going to use a Y harness on the servos I'm going to use an RC four-wheel drive remote system for the winch setup. They have those uh, I have a couple of spares uh, So I'm going to pick it out of one of my other trucks 
use that. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to throw this together and then I'll show you what it looks like installed and we can talk more about details of the installation in just a minute. So the final assembly and installation of the RC four wheel drive V plow is pretty simple. I was pretty surprised on how quick I was able to throw this thing together and get it on the truck. I would say it was probably about an hour. I had a bunch of other things that I had to do with the, the truck. I had to install the motor back in a couple other little things. And uh, you know that it wound up taking me like three hours in total. But I would say for the plow itself, it was about an hour to get it all together. That That's to the point where I was, uh, you know, moving the plow blade and raising and lowering it with the winch. And so I'm just going to go over some of the, the tips and tricks that I found along the way to kind of help you guys out. And so the first thing I want to start off with is the hardware. You saw the plow came assembled, but I really suggest that you go and take most of it apart and use thread lock. Uh, to hold everything together because there's going to be a lot of vibration if you go and use this thing so you're going to want all those screws thread locked in there so they don't back out on you while you're out you know plowing your driveway so let me just take the body off here for a second and i'll kind of start just talking about all the different things that i found so obviously installing that front mount uh that front brace to to secure the plow super simple uh installing the little adapters uh to the plow blade was super simple as well you know just put some thread lock on the screws, screw everything into place and you're ready to go. Then next up was installing the servos. And as I mentioned before, I was really looking forward to using some low profile servos, but I wound up using some standard size servos as you can see right here. Uh, and they're pretty low to the ground. So, you know, that, that low profile servo would probably be really good. So if you have to buy your own servos for it, maybe go that route instead, just so you get some more ground clearance under there. But uh, they drop right in. They have to be a 25 tooth spline. Uh, to work with these particular servo arms and they give you the eight screws that hold the servos in so that's uh, You know nice and simple just screw them in with a little bit of Loctite in it and They actually give you two more screws to secure the arms onto the top of the servos if your servo doesn't come with a screw uh, The a three millimeter screws provided there. The only thing I didn't see there's no screw for the clamp uh, of the servo arm Which is kind of odd, uh, but I don't think you're really gonna need it um, you know if you find that your servo uh, the spline is skipping within that horn, then maybe go find a screw yourself. Uh, it's probably like a 2.5 or 2 millimeter screw and uh, clamp the, those servo arms down. But other than that, you know, everything just flowed right together. Uh, and once I did that, I actually took the plugs off of the uh, servo leads. There's these little slots and I believe the slots are there. So you could zip tie the servo wires to those little slots. But what I do, I took the plug off and slip the wires up through those uh, little slots and it kind of just made everything a little bit nicer and neater. Um, you know, I kind of went overboard on some and, and on the rest of this part, uh, I kind of just threw things together because it's snowing outside. I really want to get outside. So some of this is just thrown together. But anyway, once those servo leads were through the, the loops, I put the connectors back on and uh, you know, everything works just fine. And then I got to the winch. Now I found out what that extra plate is for that they gave you with the kit. It's an offset plate. So the plate that they give you with the winch is a centered mounting plate. So you need to take the winch off that plate and put it on that offset plate and that will center the winch within the bracket here. And installing that is pretty easy. There was screws that were uh, supplied with the winch. So I just used those uh, to secure the winch plate down. And then I ran the winch lead down to this plate as part of the V-plow. Um, and I kind of looked at some pictures online. It looks like there was kind of a D hook. So I went, rummaging through my parts and I found a, a D hook from Axial, I believe, and just use that. There's a hole already there in the plow and I just uh, ran the, the screw through it, put the, the D hook on there and then just clip my winch to it. Works just fine. And then after all that was done, I put my little uh, plow guides on the front and then moved on to the wiring. Now, what I decided to do here is I decided to keep things simple. Um, I believe what you could do is you could get a multi-channel radio and you could go plug your servo leads for your plow servos. Uh, you know, into maybe a channel five and channel six of a multi-channel radio. And I think you could go in there and you could do some mixing. Uh, so you could go and do, a, a, you know, a V-style plow or you could move and alter, you know, your plow however you want to. But again, I wanted to keep things simple. I want to get out there while it's snowing. 
Uh, so what I did was I have this RC four wheel drive three channel radio and it's got a three position switch here. So all I did was I ran my servo wires into a, uh, a Y harness basically. Um, it just, uh, takes the two plug, two servo plugs and transitions them down into one plug and I plug that into the channel three port. And so I'll show you what that does for the operation. Turn my radio on, turn my plow on. So the middle position is now centered. And so the plow is centered in the front. And when I flip the switch, I could alter the angle of the plow. And the servos, uh, they are maxed out when, when this uh, switch is flipped. Uh, it doesn't sound like they're under too much strain, so I'm not going to uh, be really worried about it. It would be nicer if this was a more high-end radio. Maybe I could limit the endpoints of it. Uh, but for now, I think everything works really fine, and it looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, so that works. And what I did for the winch is I'm going to use the remote winch controller, and it just allows me to remotely raise and lower the plow. And I did notice that the plow drops a little bit with the weight of it. Uh, you know, the winch doesn't, you know, really secure, but it seems like it gets the plow off the ground and gets the job done. So that's all that really matters. So again, installation was super easy. Uh, you know, again, it shouldn't take you that long if you have a, a, a TF2 or another uh, vehicle. Installation should really be a breeze. I have a couple more parts that I wanted to put on the project, but again, with the time of, of getting out and playing in the snow, I didn't get to do it. Uh, RC four wheel drive sent me a light bar, which will look really cool on the blazer. Uh, they sent me the blazer lighting kit, which is pretty neat. I've got their driver figure and then I've got the inner fender wells for the blazer. Um, so that'll be a project for another day and maybe I'll do a little quick update at some point. But uh, really all that's left is to go outside and have some fun with this machine and see what it does plowing my driveway. So what did you think of that? I was pretty impressed with what the RC four wheel drive plow and the TF2 Blazer was able to do out there in the snow. I mean, it was pushing that snow around. That was some pretty wet and heavy snow. And uh, you know, it really didn't have too much of a problem pushing it until, I mean, things really bunched up in the front of it. But uh, I was impressed with what it could push around. Now what was really cool was my two little guys, Jake and Logan, they were actually driving it for me for a lot of that and they had a blast with it too. So overall, this was a fun project to do. But why don't I break down a couple of things that I noticed while I was out there. So the first thing I noticed was when it was pushing that heavy snow is the plow blades kind of push back in a V formation. Uh, and that's because the servos that I chose uh, really didn't have the torque to hold uh, the plow in place. They're basically, 
I think there were 13 dollars servos over at the local hobby town and they just you know the plow blade just bent back and uh you know it wasn't too big of a deal because this this truck just muscled that snow forward and i was able to have a lot of fun um when it was uh on the angle it did work uh, a lot better actually that way it held its position so that wasn't really a problem uh the winch did pretty well too I, it did move up and down a little bit um but uh, i was able to actually pull it up and and uh, drive around in the snow and it didn't pull the plow back down uh, so the winch had some strength to it as well uh, but overall, I mean, it was just a fun project. A lot of people, they live in snowy climates and, you know, uh, as an RC person, you always think about, hey, what if I had a snow plow? And here is a great option for you to pick up if you have a scale truck, the TRX-4, the Axial SCX-10. Uh, so you could go and outfit a number of uh, vehicles with it. And, you know, if you get creative, you maybe you could do uh, other vehicles as well. Uh, but a very neat kit. They also have a straight plow if you're just looking for a straight plow. And they do have color options as well. There's there's an optional yellow. Uh, so you get red or yellow. But this is a very neat accessory to get for your scale machine. I mean, RC four-wheel drive is just pumping out lots and lots of cool stuff. And I can't wait to see what they're going to come up with in the future. But for now, this plow is going to be a lot of fun. I'm kind of hoping that the snow sticks around just a little bit longer. So maybe I can mess around with the plow with some more. Uh, but we're getting into springtime here. Uh, and I'm definitely going to use this again in the winter time because it is so much fun. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you get creative with your RC machine. If you haven't done so yet, please click the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, throw the video a like, and of course, when you have some extra time, head over to rcdriver.com.